And Rob, when a studio hires you for millions of dollars, now I'm not saying he's not making Robert Downey Jr. money. I mean, let's not let's not get carried away. He's not making Robert Downey Jr. money, but still, when a studio is paying you millions of dollars and hiring you nutritionists and hiring you trainers, and all they say to you is, hey, how about, you know, while you're locked at home and not doing anything, think maybe you could lift some weights? Think maybe you could you know, work out a little bit? Jonathan. Jonathan Campia. We need to have a conversation. So about a day or two ago, GQ Magazine, an interview with Robert Pattinson, who, as we all know at this point, is going to be the next Batman in the upcoming Matt Reeves directed movie, The Batman. At first, there was like a lot of controversy about Robert Pattinson being Batman because people thought he wasn't fit for the role. Like, oh, oh the, the girly Twilight boy is gonna be the new Batman. No. No, you uncultured motherfucker. The hella versatile actor known as Robert Pattinson is going to be the new Batman. And he's going to be great because he's a great actor. I mean, there's a bunch of movies that show just how good of an actor he is. I mean, watch The Lighthouse. Watch Good Time. Watch The Rover. Uh, even see Tenet when it comes out just to get an idea of how versatile of an actor Robert Pattinson really is. Speaking of the GQ magazine uh, interview... Robert Pattinson made a joke about how he has not been training doing well doing the proper training for Batman uh, since the quarantine. He's been talking about how he just kind of just sits at home, probably like stares at his broken phone. I don't know, watches porn or something. Just regular guy stuff. But if you read the article itself, the guy was clearly joking I even he even mentions how he has a strict meal plan for the batman that is mandated I, I guess it's mandated by the studio because they send him food if i'm if i was reading the article correctly so the guy was clearly joking about not prepping up for the batman there's even pictures that were posted two or three weeks ago of him running around london and he even talks about how he does his usual runs around London so the guy is clearly still preparing for Batman even if he doesn't look like Hulk Hogan but because people did not see his joke because you know admittedly you can't really understand a joke if you just read it sometimes there were a lot of people on YouTube Twitter and so on so forth who were completely losing their minds about the idea that Robert Pattinson was not training for Batman because oh, he's not taking Batman seriously. It's insulting. He needs to be super muscular and super fit for the role. Now, but I'm not going to talk about other YouTubers. Instead, I'm going to talk about one in particular, John Campia, formerly of stuff like AMC Movie Talk and Collider. Now, don't get me wrong, I like John Campia. I like John Campia a lot more than some of these other movie news commentary people. But yesterday, he uploaded a video, or rather two days ago, he uploaded a video talking about Robert Pattinson's not training for the Batman. And <sighs> I, gotta, I gotta be honest with you, Jonathan, I'm a little disappointed in you. But I'm going to stop talking. We're going to take a look at some of this video just to give you guys an idea what I'm talking about. I am a big Robert Pattinson fan. Um, I have been, Rob, I don't know if it's, if it's too much exaggeration to say I may have been the biggest cheerleader when they announced that Robert Pattinson was going to be Batman. When, and when they, I've, I've been all for it. I love the idea of him being Batman. And I, when people would want to argue with me and say, oh, he can't do this and he can't do that. I say, you know what? You clearly haven't seen High Life. You clearly haven't seen Rover. You ha clearly haven't seen Good Time. You clearly haven't seen The Lighthouse. Because if all you're fixated on with Robert Pattinson is what he did in Twilight, then you don't know what Robert Pattinson is capable of. Now, while I will agree with John Campia that when Robert Pattinson was first announced to play Batman, people weren't exactly big on the idea of, playing, of him playing Batman because they only really knew Twilight. However, 
I do want to point out that he... I want to. I like how he started out with this whole praising of Robert Pattinson because he's going to spend the next uh, 30 or so minutes completely bashing him. He has become a fantastic actor that high profile directors want to line up and work with. And I have been waving the Rob Pats or what do they call them? Our bats or whatever they call them. I've been <laughs> waving that our bats flag and happy about this ever since they announced it. So I've been 100% uh, more than a big cheerleader for this idea of Robert Pattinson. Thing you need to understand, number two, I don't think that Batman has to be, or the actor who's playing Batman has to be six foot four, 280 pounds. I, I don't think they have to be that. You know, I, I don't think, I mean, for, for look at Michael Keaton. I mean, even look at Christian Bale, who clearly got himself in great shape for it. But I mean, that wasn't anywhere near the comic book iteration of Batman. I don't believe an actor has to be 280 pounds of big, huge, solid, rock hard muscle, right? So I think Robert Pattinson is a fantastic choice for the role. I think he's an extremely talented actor. And I don't think necessarily that the, the character has to be like you know, 260 pound chiseled. He makes a point about how he personally doesn't feel like an actor needs to be 200 or 80 or 270 pounds of muscle or whatever he said. And okay, he does have a point because sure, Batman in the comic books is this super ripped, super jacked guy, but you know, it's been said many times by the filmmakers himself they want to go in a slightly more realistic direction with this take on Batman. And if you think about it, you know, let's think about all the abilities of Batman, the attributes, mind you. He's stealthy, he has a lot of agility. The guy's essentially a ninja. He was trained by the League of Shadows or the League of Assassins, depending on if you're more familiar with the comic books. And if you want to take that stuff realistically, then yes, it would make a little more sense if Batman was a smaller, more agile dude instead of fucking Brock Lesnar walking around a Batman costume. I mean, no offense, but that was kind of my issue with Ben Affleck and Batman v Superman. I think back to this one scene when they first introduce him in costume and he's trying to save like the, 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 the Asian women in the cages. And like the police are like looking for uh, Batman. And when you first see him, <laughs> when you first see him, he is like perched up in like the corner ceiling somewhere. And it looks absolutely ridiculous because here's this big ass dude trying to be stealthy in the corner. And then he starts moving around super unrealistically. It just, I remember seeing that scene in a the theater. I was like, huh, that wouldn't work at all. It's not realistic. It's just not realistic. But with Robert Pattinson, who seems like he's not going to be going super shredded, super Dwayne the Rock Johnson, it makes a little more sense to me that Batman would be an agile, stealthier dude. Because here's the thing, Batman does martial arts and karate kung fu shit. You don't need to be shredded as fuck to do karate kung fu. I mean, look at Poe. We're going to skip over this part because we already... We already covered what was what Robert Pattinson talked about. And like we said, like I said earlier, the dude was clearly joking. And as you're about to see, this joke completely flies over the head of Mr. Jonathan Campia. And I wish he was a little smarter than this. And I thought he was. And I guess not. For now, in, in the golden age of comic book movies where we have these titans, these characters that are titans, they're gods. You know, in, in the mythological realm of our pop culture, these are Thors and Hulks and Captain Americas and Superman and Batman. This man's literally just compared a bunch of actors in colorful ass costumes to Titans and gods. I just, this is a grown ass man in his 30s who just said this. Like, like, I understand you're trying to make a point here, uh, Mr. Campia. But that's kind of cringe. And Rob, here's where I take umbrage with what Robert Pattinson was saying. This is where I get upset, and this is where this bothers me. I, when I was cheering for Robert Pattinson becoming Batman, 
I never thought for a second that he's probably a good 160, 165. He probably he probably tilts in at a good 160, 165. I never thought for a moment that he was going to take some magical horse steroids and suddenly become this gigantic rip 265 pound monster. I never for once expected that. I never for once thought that. I never for once put that onus on him that he he had to become that. Never once. Never once. He was never going to become that, and that's totally fine. Yeah, you seem pretty bothered by the fact that he's not going to be. See, I hate when people keep going on and on about, no, no, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't have an issue with it. No, no, it's, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with Batman not being 200 pounds and being able to lift cars and shit. But here's why I am. Rob, the only thing I want from the actor who's going to be playing Batman, an actor who is getting a role that tens of thousands of other actors would kill for, and do anything for a character that is a titan in our pop cultural consciousness. The Batman character is almost as recognizable as a portrait of Jesus somewhere around the world. (laughs) (laughs) Are you kidding me? (laughs) This man, once again, he drops the word titans and my man's just compared batman to our lord and savior jesus christ batman the cape crusader the world's greatest detective is on the same par as jesus christ i now worship batman i go to the church of gotham and i worship batman every sunday for every sunday i worship the batman i pray to bruce wayne i i I mean batman i pray that he will save us from criminals everywhere amen rob the only thing i ask of an actor who is blessed and privileged and anointed with this iconic role this trust the only thing i ask is give me, as an audience member, your best effort. That's all I ask. Take the role and say, you know what? I'm never going to be 260 pounds bodybuilder, but I'm going to give you my best effort. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Honor the studio that hired you by saying, you know what? I'm going to give you my best. And my best, because here's the thing, Rob, if Robert Pattinson committed to a workout regime, And the best he could do is give us like a 190 pound Batman, like a solid 190. That's all I ask because you tried. Just honor the fandom, honor the fans of this by saying, I'm going to give you my best effort. Because guess what, Rob? Picking up some weights when you're locked up at home and you have nothing else to do anyway, all that is a question of is a question of effort. That's all it is. It's a question of commitment and effort. Nothing else. Robert Pattinson has all the talent in the world. Now... My now this this sec this section right here, it perfectly describes my issue with this entire video. Like we're only really like eight minutes into the video, but we this this statement that you just heard from Mr. Campia, it perfectly describes my problem with his argument, and it's pretty clear to me. Like I don't know if he read the entire article, but the way he's coming off in this. It kind of sort of feels like he did not really read the entirety of this GQ article if he's insisting that Robert Pattinson is not committed to this Batman role, which based on everything I've heard, not from like not just from the GQ articles, because I did read the whole article. I did read the whole article. Well, I, I mostly skimmed through. I skimmed through the boring parts, but I read the main parts of the article. But anyway... You know, I, if you ask me, it seems like he's pretty committed to this role. And even if you read the rest of the article, he talks about how uh, he has a strict diet plan that he works with. Uh, he talks about how um, much later on in the interview, he talks about the importance of the Batman role and how there's kind of a legacy behind 
there's a legacy behind it. You know, he re- talks about uh, Michael Keaton, George Clooney, Ben Affleck. He talked about how he watched a documentary of the making of Batman and Robin out of all of the Batman movies you could think of. He makes he watches a documentary about the arguably the worst Batman movie ever. But if you ask me, that to me kind of shows his commitment to the role because he understands uh, the legacy of this character. So if you ask me, that's commitment enough. You know, sure, he might not be in the gym every day, like lifting 350 pound dumbbells to prepare for the role, but Robert Pattinson isn't doesn't seem to be that kind of actor. Um, and if you ask me, I would much rather prefer somebody who is known more for their acting ability than their muscles or their physique. And I understand that's not what John Campy is saying, but my problem with this uh, video is that he is suggesting that Pattinson has no commitment to this Batman role. And based on everything I've read and seen, and even in previous interviews, that's not the case at all. But anyway, I'm done talking about this video and I'm done talking about John Campy. I don't have an issue with the guy. But I feel like he was a little off base with uh, his take on this situation. And he clearly didn't get the joke or Robert Pattinson's humor. And I feel like the, his response of, oh, it's being disrespectful to the fan base and Batman is a titan and he's comparable to Jesus. It's, uh, it's kind of cringe, bro. It's kind of cringe. High key. But anyway, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can comment your thoughts. I might reply to it. I probably will. But I will possibly see you guys in the next video. Take care. No. I'm Robert Pattinson, asshole. I don't do that. Screw you. I don't have time for that. I can't be bothered with that. What the fuck else are you doing, you asshole? You're sitting at home during a pandemic where you're making mac and cheese. There's nothing else to do. This company's paying you millions of dollars, hired you professionals to help you, whatever. And nobody's expecting you to be a 250 pound bodybuilder. 